Hello guys, and today we will have an analysis of yesterday's test, okay? So let's read them there with their answers. So, and the first question, I can't afford that ring, eat too much. So the answer will be cost, because you know, eat is a third personal pronoun, therefore we have to use uh, as here, with verbs. And next one, uh, why is your hair wet? I and uh, so here, you know, uh, we have visible result, hair wet, therefore we have to use uh, present perfect here. And uh, the answer will be have been swimming. And next question, uh, which phrasal verb is described in this picture? So according to the picture, someone is filling the form application. Whenever you are using uh, application here, you have to use the word fill in. The answer will be fill in. Next one. Uh, Mr. Sudbury, France before he, his business in that country. So as you can see here, we have the keywords before, uh, as we have learned uh, in our previous classes. And we said before, we have to use a structure. Before I did, I had done, right? Therefore, the answer will be uh, Mr. Sudbury had visited France before he started his business. And next one. Choose the best answer which correctly completes the sentences. I'm a bit tired, I think. So here, after the word, I think we have to use future simple. So the answer will be, we'll take a rest. And uh, find a grammatical mistake from the sentence. Uh, they say the people of Los Angeles speak uh, 12 languages and teach just as much in the schools. So guys, here we have a um, grammatical mistake in the... Uh, number four, because after the language, the word language, we have to use not much, but many, because it is countable. Uh, next question, choose the correct answer. The letter, just, it can now. So here, the letter uh, cannot be seen by, him, by itself. Therefore, we have to use passive voice. And the answer will be, um, has been written, because we have uh, keyword like just, therefore the answer has been written and be sent is correct here. And next one, I have another cup of tea. Uh, so uh, this question is about asking permission from someone, right? Therefore we have to use the word may. The correct answer is may. Next one, uh, Tom passed his exam in the literature and now he take it again. Uh, so, uh, Tom passed his exam in the past, therefore we can put here couldn't, and now, so it means present, has to take uh, it again. So it is obligatory, therefore we have to put here couldn't and has to. The correct answer is that. Trying your best is the important thing. So here we have to put tech question, and uh, the subject of the sentence is trying, and here we have to put isn't it. Next one, the doctor asked his nurse uh, so if she would come in time the following day, uh, as you can see, the answer A and B are automatically incorrect because here we have present simple and after the word asked here, we cannot use present simple. Therefore, the correct answer will be if she would come in time the following day. Next one, they look at the plane. Uh, so the correct answer will be flying uh, because uh, plane is uh, plane is flying, so it is first participle, present participle. Therefore, we have to use uh, fly. It is in the process. So next one, they have got enough money to the cinema, to go to the cinema. It's very simple. And next one, oh, you look really good. Did you have good time in the country? Oh, yeah. Weather was absolutely great. So before the weather, we have to put the, the art article there, because it is a unique uh, thing in the world, and the correct answer will be B, A and Z. Next one, here the books uh, is yours. Uh, you know books is just an object, therefore we have to use the word which here. And next, it is well known that you practice speaking, you will do it. Uh, so here we have a special structure, you know, whenever you want to say kanche, shunche, here you have to use uh, the comparative degree of adjective with the uh, definite article, the more, the better. Next one, she didn't know his name, uh, so the correct answer is also, uh, because as you see here we have subject and verb, therefore we can put also here as a correct answer. We cannot put since, um, because it is not um, correct with its meaning, it's not adequate here. Next one, use a train if you're a taxi. Uh, 
so it is just simple first conditional according to the structure we have to put will and do right you will miss the train if you don't take a taxi next one mark uh, went to chicago to see the sites the city uh, so here after the word go we have to use to went to chicago and then uh, as a possessive we can put off the correct answer is to and off and now let's move on with reading uh, in the reading task uh, let's uh, read the correct answers the first one according to the first uh, passage one of the factors that made uh, delmonico's first restaurant different from other restaurants was that uh, here the correct answer will be c the range of food on offer at the restaurant was uncommonly large by the way your answer will be, will be different because the, uh, we have to choose the correct version okay as i told here we have the correct answer c but it can be different on your version Next one, it's clear from the passage that Delmonico, and the correct answer is, opened a chain of restaurants which we call, uh, he called Delmonico's. And next, uh, we learn from the passage that Delmonico, so here we have to conclude about the passage, so played a major role in establishing the concept of restaurant in the USA. And next one, second passage. So, uh, the question, the aim in shortening the Chinese New Year season was to minimize the disruption of work. The correct answer will be like this. Next one, the Chinese and Western New Year's, uh, the correct answer is they shared certain similarities according to the passage, okay? And next one, at Chinese New Year, so at Chinese New Year, according to the passage, if I'm not mistaken, the Chinese observe a lot of superstitions. You see? Next one. Uh, passage 3. It is clear from the passage that uh, the correct answer is Balinese people burn dead bodies and scatter the ashes into the sea. All right? So sec next question. For Balinese people, funerals are not sad occasions because they believe that the dead continue to live in another life. It is given in the passage. And the last question, the writer states that, according to the beliefs of almost all religions, so people continue to exist in some form after death. So if you have any questions related to the passage, uh, you have, please feel free to come and see me in order to analyze the reading passages, okay? Thanks for your attention. Thank you.